Item Number SCP-4792 Object Class Keter Threat Level Black Level 4-4792 Classified Special Containment Procedures Information regarding SCP-4792 is to be located and deleted by webcrawler IO Reckoning Slave as soon as it's detected. No further containment procedures are necessary for the time being. Description SCP-4792 refers to a Class V megastructure encompassing a star near the Crux constellation. SCP-4792's primary function is to harvest all energy output of its captive star, a structure known as a Dyson Sphere. In addition, SCP-4792 is capable of launching von Neumann probes towards other planetary systems for the purpose of replicating itself around each system's host star. SCP-4792 operates under two mechanisms, one inner thaumaturgical and one outer mechanical mechanism. The inner mechanism is a self-centering barrier, capable of allowing energy, but not matter, to pass through it. The outer mechanism is comprised of shielding, as well as the energy harvesting devices, presumed to be solar panels or some variety thereof, and computational machinery. Assembly factories have also been observed on its surface. Inside SCP-4792's mechanical chassis is an artificial intelligence, henceforth POI-4792, inhabiting an internal computational matrix. POI-4792 has not responded to hailing attempts, nor otherwise acknowledged the Foundation's existence. However, after exploiting weaknesses in POI-4792's database, numerous files have been retrieved. These files of significance are attached below. All recovered texts have been translated using an anomalous linguistical application device. T plus one. Today marks the year-long anniversary of the start of the Great Containment Project. It is a momentous occasion, for it highlights the day we began to change our destinies. I, Geta Ippolit, am honored to hold this position of leadership in the Containment Project. I promise that when it's over, our children will be free to roam this wonderful universe without worries of extinction. The history of the project dates back longer than any records will show. A prophecy that is still taught to our children is the center of the project, as I'm sure you all know. But do you remember its details? How often have you looked at the prose of its writing? Allow me but a brief moment to recite to you its verses, just as the Elder Prophet spoke it. Come gather, my fellow brothers, for I shall tell you a tale like no other of which the eternal slumber will fall. Arise one day a dark god shall, around the star of Chiasmus, and in his madness blacken the skies, consuming the world with iron teeth, and silence shall dawn upon all life, lest a knight arise to defend it. My dearest comrades, this is what the ancient god spoke to his prophets millennia ago. Truly a tragic prophecy, but not one that must take effect. If we examine the last line of this poem, you'll find that our fates can be deterred by a knight who shall defend all life. My friends, we are the knights. Our strongest sages have already erected the most powerful barrier known to our kind around Chiasmus. It glows a soft pink and encompasses the entire star, truly the most monumental of accomplishments. But we do not plan to stop there, of course, for we could ensure a bright future for our kind even beyond what we planned. That's why I'm proud to announce Operation Sheath, a move to construct a hypothesized stellar shell. With over 2 million workers and mines with enough material to strip normal planets in mere years, we plan on encasing the entire star in not only a magical barrier, but a mechanical one as well. Not only shall we keep Meshet, the dark god, locked in his cell, we shall use his home to power our own advances into the cosmos. Praise Awet. Cursed be Meshet. Let us all rejoice for such a momentous occasion. 
All right, that should be good enough for the speech. They want me to write one of these every year of the project. <laughs> like I'll live that long. I already have white feathers. Anyway, I thought I'd run this by you just to be sure it's not inaccurate. I don't want those egghead politicians to be giving me a barking behind the scenes, if you get what I mean. It was hard enough to get this position in the first place, but I'm certain this will put both of us into the history books. Praise Awet, and curse to be Meshet. Sincerely, Geta Ippolet. T plus 25. 25 years, huh? Feels a lot shorter than that. They stopped asking me to make speeches on the project when they realized how long it would take. What idiots, did they expect this thing to be done by the turn of the century? I still have to send a data report on the sphere every year, but what do I tell them? They're politicians, they need something they can preach to the masses to get votes. I just take what's true and spin it to be beneficial to them so I can secure more funding. I've already gone through this rant a dozen times through this journal, I suppose. There's no use babbling again, though I assume it's healthy for me. The job's given me a lot of stress, but it's my legacy, and I'm certain I'll be invested in it to the very end. It's just that everything's too limited, not enough funding, not enough workers, not enough materials, whatever. We need to fix things up. Proposals have been made countless times, but there's a new one that I think has promise. Synthetics have begun to emerge as personalized house caring tools back on Lopus Rem, being capable of specialization and modification. We could promise faster results to the president if we get more money, invest in this new robot trend, and possibly create factories to produce near limitless workers. Energy would be a bit of an issue at first, but that's not exactly a problem once you have part of a stellar shell up and running. Either way, whatever happens, I'll need to pick a designated successor soon. I'm already in my late 70s, and I probably will have to undergo some surgeries to keep my body up to speed. I've got another… 40 years tops, and I'll probably be forced out of the position within 20. I'll give them a fight before I do though, you can expect that from old Geta. Praise Awet, and curse Meshet. Sincerely, Geta Ippolet. T plus 50. Today marks the 50th anniversary of our containment efforts. That bastard Meshet won't be able to escape this once we're done. I'm certain of it. Funding still runs relatively low, but when doesn't it? Either way, we've made great strides. Our workforce now consists of 90% synthetics, which is quite the notch up from 75% a year ago, or 0% two decades ago. They follow commands effortlessly, and they don't tire. The speed at which they work is still vastly superior, and in hindsight, I'm ashamed we didn't do it sooner. All of them are under my control. We're still a long, long way from completing the structure though. Our earliest estimates presume within the next dozen million years, but it'll be producing near limitless energy in about 2 million. That is, of course, assuming we don't speed up the process even further. There's also the issue of conflicting interests within the government, since we generate a lot of energy as is and consume massive amounts of materials, even if we generate them all ourselves. It's tiring. And then of course, there's me. I'm already over a hundred, and I've got only a few years left until I drop dead. I've poured half my life into this project, and I have an irrational fear that everything I've worked towards will collapse as soon as I'm gone. This shell is like a child of mine now, and I don't want to abandon it while it's still an infant. That's why I'm going to be going through a specialized procedure. It's a side project a group of scientists and I have been working on for a decade now, and we're finally ready to use it. We've designed a synthetic body perfectly mimicking my own, and its network is a neural duplicate of my brain. We plan on uploading my consciousness to the robot. The procedure will kill me, but I'm expecting that, if it's successful, my duplicate will be eternal. If you hear nothing of me from now on, I am dead, and my duplicate is dead as well. Cursed be Meshet. Sincerely, Geta Ippolit. T plus 51. The turn of a year marks my rebirth as an immortal machine. There are, of course, some downsides that we didn't foresee when transferring my consciousness over that are certainly going to set me back. However, the pros outweigh the cons. All issues I face at the current moment are temporary. As time continues, there will only be benefits. 
The two primary concerns are, firstly, the inability to operate my body cohesively, and secondly, the longevity of my electronic brain. The Trepa's brain interacts far differently than how a machine's acts, and although our neurological pathways are identical, the way they interact with the limbs are different. As such, I am incapable of moving my limbs for an indefinite time. No matter. The latter issue is the main point. Sometime, likely within the next 10,000 years, my subatomic processors may be struck by a stray particle, decay, or experience some form of mutation. From what they've told me, the chances of something happening that may cause a serious issue in logic functionality are plausible, but should be fixable given enough technological advancement by our species. They assure me there is nothing to worry about, but I am uneasy. Oh well. For the time being, all is going wonderfully. My mind is capable of instantly linking with the mainframe of the administration, and I'm not limited by our own species' shortcomings. I can command the robotic workers with just a few lines of code, and I can also use them to move me from place to place. I'm able to perform complex calculations with ease, and make reflex fast decisions. Truly, this will be a turning point of the project. I am elated. Cursed be Meshet. Sincerely, Geta. T plus 127. Yearly update number 76. Gestalt intelligence integration has been successful so far. My brain has successfully been connected to a wireless broadcasting system, effectively allowing me to manually control each synthetic, as well as them providing me with more computing power. All biological administrators, besides a few technicians, have left the project, leaving me to perform the entirety of the operation. This has been beneficial for me. However, I've lost all government support due to reallocation of resources. This has been a setback, but a backup plan has already been put into place. I have allocated a portion of my computing power to automatically locate planets with large amounts of resources, and will launch a group of synthetics to replicate and transport construction materials back here. I'm saddened that the politicians back on Lepus Rem don't seem to understand the importance of this project. Meshet is a threat to everything we stand for. Can't they see that? That will be all. Get a T plus 163. Yearly update number 112. Relations with the government have deteriorated. All attempts to communicate with them return no responses. This is no matter, since they have not interfered with the project at all for 16 years. I am at least thankful in this regard. My plans for the structure are becoming more ambitious. I had decided to try and further integrate my consciousness with the mainframe, and this has been going smoothly. I suspect that I will have abandoned my body entirely by the end of the century, and have a dedicated central core unit which my brain will operate from within two centuries. Very exciting. Get a T plus 341. Decade report number 290. Integration has been completed. The core room is perfectly secure and governs the structure entirely. Estimated readings suspect 0.1% of the sheath to be complete by T plus 3639, above expectations since our initial idealism indicated it to be completed much later. Still no contact from the capital. I assume they have forgotten my existence. It's better that way. I'll be disabling all communication technology from now on. I don't wish for any chance of external interference. T plus 3651. Century Report. As expected, 0.1% has been achieved slightly before expected times. Good results. However, a larger astronomical collision has been detected elsewhere on the barrier. If such an astronomical collision occurred on the structure, it would have destroyed a quarter of what is currently constructed. Thankfully, it did not, and the barrier's integrity has upheld. Despite this, I am concerned in the future such events may destroy parts of the stellar shell. We must construct shielding to prevent such occurrences. No further updates. T plus 10,051. Millennium Report. They were wrong. I feel fine. T plus 18,698. I was alerted to a breach of my systems earlier this year. 
Nothing was harmed, but nonetheless, the breach occurred. From what I can gather, a spacefaring race of unknown kind found my project and tried to contact me. I presume it was through physical interaction with one of the computers of the administration office, which I hadn't touched in a long time, so they could circumvent my deactivated communication devices. They appeared to have deciphered some of our language, or perhaps the government taught them how. They sent me this. Hello, Keshemet, Constructor of Wonders. For a very long time, we have observed your progress in building this massive structure. The magic you have used to set up the barrier is beyond our wildest machinations. We would like to request your guidance for our species, since you bear much knowledge. We attach the coordinates of our colonies, should you feel a need to send an envoy. I placed the list of coordinates into a category listed as Potential Planets. I forgot what it does, but I'm certain it should go there. Then I replied with the following. Hello. I am very busy. Perhaps you could speak with the government instead. I have attached their coordinates below. Thank you. The creatures returned to me and stated that there were no planets at such coordinates, but they did find a few asteroids. Their navigation must be wrong, but I was not to judge. I will continue to keep in contact with this species. Perhaps they will be more cooperative than the last. T plus 19,051. Millennium Report. There have been no responses from the new creatures in hundreds of years. In addition, a few years following the contact, occasional bombardments of the structure have taken place and stopped about 146 years ago. Biologicals are untrustworthy. I have patched the loophole they used to bypass my disabled hailing systems. I will not cooperate with them anymore. In other news, 0.5% of the sheath is completed. This is good. T plus 33,572. 1% is complete. We are beginning to experiment with technology that may make energy matter conversion viable. This will help significantly in the project, as we will no longer have to extract resources from other planets. I do occasionally wonder how many planets we have mined already. Otherwise, all is quiet. T plus 89,952. 2% is complete. All is still quiet. T plus 136,929. 5% is complete. T plus 303,777. 20%. T plus 1,374,007. 50. T plus 2,235. And it is done. The Dark God is locked under key. I shall wait for his wailing response of horrific realization, and I will mock him, finally. T plus 2,238. It has been three years. Nothing has happened. Meshet remains silent despite his defeat. I've been waiting eagerly for him to speak. I say, please, speak, Meshet. What are your words of loss? But he doesn't answer. I was confused. Meshet, speak, speak, Meshet. Then I realized what happened. All those years ago, Meshet escaped before we closed the star in. He knew I would arise, I, the knight, to defeat him and trap him forever, to destroy the prophecy. He ran fast and fast so that he would not die. He thought I would spend so long here that my progress would be deterred when I found he escaped. That must be what happened. He knows I do not know which star he has run to. I suspect he has run to the nearest stars, one of them, because he is unthinking and lazy. He is slumbering, waiting for my despair. I will not despair. Meshet can hide, Meshet can run, but there are only so many stars in the universe, Meshet, and when the last star remains under my careful eye, you will die. It will take a long, long time before our final battle will take place, Meshet, but know that it is coming, and you will be killed when the universe is locked away and darkened under metal. I will change reality's destiny, and there is nothing that can stop me.